Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Endgame War Machine. But first and foremost, we're going to take a quick look at packaging. We got, oh, he tipped over. He has a thing for tipping over. Marvel Avengers, Marvel Wars, Mech. Something or another. And we got Marvel Legends up top. Look, look, look at the back. We got the uh, Marvel Legends. Legends War Machine. That's the same thing on this side. War Machine. This is part of... There we got the bio if you wish to read it. Thing you can do. Build a figure hulk. The thing is, when I got this figure, it didn't come with the build-a-figure part. So, it was missing that. Warning message. Warning messages. In multiple languages. Marvel. Hasbro. All there is to say for the packaging. Now we're going to get on to the uh, figure itself. War Machine has some good articulation. I love that. Except his elbow's a bit tight. His elbows are a bit tight. So every time I go to move a limb, he's very tight. Same goes for the other arm. Very tight. And hard to get... Keep things attached. Leg can go out that far, back that far, bend at the uh, knee. He doesn't have ankle tilt, which is a shame. His other leg is also articulated, so you can bend his knee. He can go back that far. But now we're going to get on to comparison here he is next to my Dollar General brand Iron Man how much did I pay for this I paid about 16 bucks for this guy if you like this video make sure to like comment subscribe This is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.